Hello, this is David Connors from Drawbay Software. I am pleased to welcome you to our second in our series of uh, demonstrations designed to highlight some of the functionality that uh, Drawbase CAFM and integrated facility management tools can provide to the users. Today, we're in the second of our series, we're going to be talking about Drawbase's capabilities for managing uh, moves under the uh, move management module. So you notice to start off with, we have start, uh, started move management. Manager, and the first thing you're presented with as a user is moves that are due to be performed and the system requests that you either approve them, decline them, or reschedule them. So we'll go ahead and close this for now. And this will bring me to the main menu within the Drawbase Move Management System. So you'll notice that we have a variety of options. The main concept of the Move Manager is designed to fully incorporate the movement of both people, assets, and equipment in a single procedure and it allows for the coordination of moves between different groups whether it's an individual or group move and ensures that all parties that are involved in the move are notified of the move and what the impact is to the organization. So let's take a look at moving people. You notice that we have a variety of options both for immediate moves for both staff additions, deletions and then also future moves which is designed to incorporate the movement of both uh, individuals and groups and be able to ensure that all of the process that's involved in this is captured and included. We also have the ability to integrate with any type of move request system whether that's from an EAM system like Maximo or Oracle or being able to use the Drawbase web requester to uh, request and to process moves based on personnel. Let's go ahead and take a look at a future group move which will allow us to highlight a variety of the different options. So if we select a future group move you'll notice that we have a number of group moves in process already or we have the ability to initiate a new group move. So let's go ahead and take a look at move 2207 and you'll notice in this move we've got five people that are moving and it lists each person, the sequence that they're in, intended to be moved in what move request type it is, the date scheduled, and also the different aspects of the move including the person, title, and the to and from location. If we wanted to get some additional detail on each of the personnel moves, so for example for Jennifer Stone, we'll bring up the entire move record for Jennifer Stone's move. And this is the main move window which allows us to incorporate all the information involved in the move. First of all, you notice that a number of the different elements are uh, incorporated into the form automatically, including first name, last name, if they had a previous name, uh, for instance, if somebody got married, and also incorporate their network ID, email, and if a photo, uh, for instance, if this is tied into the security system and we have actual photographs of employees. You notice it highlights the move date. Is it approved yet? Yes or no? Who was it moved by? project name, so we can highlight it against a specific project name, reason for the move, so example it's a promotion. Let's go ahead and move ahead to make sure that the person is moving to today's date. And let's say we'll go ahead and select September 21st. You notice it was approved. And in this case you notice that we've got a number of error trapping elements. And when I go ahead and try to approve that move, you'll notice the system immediately told me that I haven't identified where they're moving to. And so here I need to go ahead and select on our destination tab where they're originating from and where they're headed to. And this allows me to highlight the different criteria and selection capability the move manager has for identifying where people will move based on either space type, title, space usage, what division they belong to, cost center, and as with all other aspects of Drawbase, these, these elements are completely user definable based on a customer's unique criteria for how they coordinate and how they execute the move add change process. So in this example, we'll go ahead and just select a room. Let's say Jennifer is going to be moving to room 115. And you'll notice here we do give the option of selecting the location either by room number or by the jack that they're going to be highlighted. So if that's linked to an IT system in lieu of a actual physical location. So now that we've selected the room, we can go ahead and approve the move. You'll notice that it's been highlighted on 9712 for today. And the rest of the elements, we also have the ability to incorporate either a standard move cost or enter a move cost 
during the process. And this is, allows us to ultimately get back to our key performance information that Move Manager will store and retrieve, including things like average uh, cost per move, being able to document our churn rate, and ultimately associate uh, our organization's entire move process and move budget against what was allocated and what has been executed. So there's an example of all the information that gets captured in, in the move. Well, one thing I did want to highlight is the ability to be able to identify who will need to be notified about the move. And this can either be a preset email list based on the type of move, or we can uh, do uh, additional people on an ad hoc basis. And here are all the options that are identified as part of the move ad change process. Do I want to add this as a calendar function to notify me when I'm moving? Do I want to move furniture? Yes or no. Do I want to move equipment? Yes or no. And in this example, the system is tied to a Maximo EAM system, which would allow me to actually initiate a work order to schedule the labor for the move and capture actual costs of move based on the labor involved. Do I need move boxes? If so, how many would I like? So I'll go ahead and select three. The system will even have the ability to print out the labels that will be assigned to the move boxes. This gives you some sense of the level of uh, information that's being captured by the move, and this will all be tied directly to our move database to be able to retrieve for historical purposes. Last but not least, the ability to be able to submit the move, schedule it, and be able to process it, and be able to capture all this information as part of the documentation. We'll go ahead back, and we'll close this out. And we'll go ahead back to our move. So finally, we also have the ability back in our main menu to be able to run any type of reports based on either move history or move requests. And one of the elements I did want to highlight is if this information is being either uh, imported or processed back to any type of ER system, ERP system, in this example, PeopleSoft, we have the ability to either import employee data or post updated locations either directly to PeopleSoft or via a transaction file to be able to ensure that all of our corporate ERP systems are completely integrated with our draw-based CAFM solution.